Hi everyone, my name is Regina, I am Vegas Weddings Planner. This is my vlog where we're talking about wedding planning. Today I am going to share with you some of the horror stories of DIY weddings. Now, I'm not going to bore you with explanations of why you should have an all unplugged wedding, but to give you an example, I am going to entertain you and hopefully scare you with some stories that actually happened at my weddings. This is a story of the catering disaster from hell. Understand that food and beverage can take the biggest part of your budget and you're trying to cut the cost any way you can. However, I would recommend just to let professionals take care of some important part of your wedding. One of my couples decided to take care of the catering themselves. So what happened is they decided to do their own bar. They provided their own drinks, sodas, soft drinks, liquors. It was a winter wedding, so it was not that bad. But when guests started arriving from the chapel to the reception place, they started drinking water. And before the reception even started, we were all out of water bottles. The problem was that the couple got those little bottles, you know, and they didn't get the enough amount of those. So that was a big problem. We had to do something while guests were arriving and asking me for more water. I couldn't even leave the place and I couldn't even send anybody to go get that water. And then another thing, they ordered catering from a place that was not doing wedding type catering. So, and I guess the couple didn't discuss with them what they exactly wanted for the presentation. The caterer brought all the food in the foil pans. There was no shapers, there was no shaving stands, there was no sterners. So all the food got cold really fast. And as a cherry on top, he provided plastic disposable silverware, one per person wrapped in a plastic bag. So as you can imagine, people, after they're done eating, they would throw away their disposable plates and silverware. And when they went for the seconds, there was nothing on the table to eat with, there was no plates, no napkins, no silverware. There was a lot of cold food just on the buffet table. So I think it is important that you leave catering to the professionals who do it every day. You don't want your wedding to look like a high school cafeteria. This is the story about the dreadful DJ in the dark. Once I worked with the couple who decided to have their own DJ at the wedding. Oh my god. Don't get me wrong. The couple was nice and they had only the best intentions. The problem was that the DJ was actually a nightclub DJ. I'm guessing he has never ran a wedding. The venue was separated into reception and a ceremony place. He did not bring any of his equipment. He had to have at least two sets of speakers, which he didn't. He just used the venue surround system plugged into his laptop. So what happened for the ceremony is he had to turn on the music so loud in the reception room to make sure that the people in the ceremony area could still hear the music. After that, during the entire event, he was on his phone. I'm not the boss of him. I can't tell him exactly what to do and how to do his job. However, it is very unprofessional to just stand the whole night on your phone. I wasn't sure what he was doing but he was not working. Finally, one hour before the end of the event, something happened with the sound system and the music stopped. So there was no sound in the last hour. A lot of people started wondering what happened. They started coming up with their drinks to the table where the DJ was standing. They started putting a weight on the table and that made the table collapse, which made all the drinks fall on the laptop. We finished the reception early, but this is what happens when you don't hire a professional wedding DJ. This is the story about the frightening florist who ruined it all. This story applies to people who hire vendors to do the job that they don't specialize in. For example, people ask wedding officiant to plan their entire wedding. Or they may ask a photographer to take care of the catering service. Or, for example, a wedding planner who would be providing bartending service. You get where I'm going with this. Vendors specialize in their field for a reason. Here's the story. I had a couple who decided to hire a florist. I do not recommend working with this florist ever. She's really a frightening florist. <laughs> 
<laughs> from the darkness. <laughs> the couple decided to still go with this florist and uh, everything would be fine, but on the day of the service, I found out that the florist is also bringing catering. So the bad part of that situation is that the florist did not bring the, the proper presentation for the catering. Um, she did not bring any chafers. She only brought food in the foil pans. She placed them in the chafing stands, brought certain cans and placed them on the tables underneath the foil pans without properly securing them. Anybody in this wedding could come up to the table, accidentally push it, the sterner can would fall and we would just have a fire at this wedding. Second, because there was no chafing dishes, so there was no water pan to keep the food warm, she decided to just warm up the food with those turnos and the fire started burning through the foil, which made the food burn, which made the smoke come out. So that was a disaster. It looked really bad. There was stains everywhere. There was no chafing leads. It looked really, really, really bad. The couple decided to have this florist to take care of their place cards. So now you can imagine there was 100 people at the ceremony and the florist disappeared with their place cards. Nobody knew where she went. I was working as a venue coordinator, but they did not tell me this little detail. So the florist disappeared with their place cards and after the ceremony was over, nobody knew where they were supposed to sit. There was 100 people in the ceremony area trying to get to the ballroom without knowing where they're supposed to sit. Finally, they decided their florist to provide a rehearsal for them. The day before, they met at the venue and did a ceremony rehearsal. However, on the day of, nobody actually knew what they were supposed to be doing. The bridal party was confused. It was not rehearsed or properly prepared for the ceremony. That said, if you hire a professional, let them stay in the field that they specialize in. Don't let them do everything. This is the story about the vendors who want to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Now, this makes me mad the most. I've seen so many vendors thinking that it's okay to drink at a wedding. And those were not friends of the couples, but they were actually hired to work at this wedding. I've seen servers drinking at a bar, or I've seen the whole entire catering team get high right before the event. I've seen some vendors who would smoke cigarettes with the guests. It is all unacceptable. Please, if you hire a vendor without any recommendations, please do your research before hiring them, please make sure to put in the contract or at least discuss that they are not getting under influence of anything while working at your event. It should be common sense, but looks like it's not. That's it for today. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments below if you have any horror stories or if you have any suggestions on the topics that we should cover in our next video. I'm Vegas Weddings Planner. Till next time. I should not even say the number, I should just say... <laughs> this is the story about the... <laughs> Party all the time.